for whatever reason, my brain just said, like, make a hamburger into a speaker. No, the, the bun is kind of acting as the diaphragm of the, of the speaker. And that's, then, so that's the cone right there? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't sure how much the bun would, like, absorb the sound rather than, like, act as the diaphragm and, like, kind of get it out there. I With the paper plate you one, you use, like, that, these... That lettuce really kicks. You use these index cards <laughs> as, like, a suspension system for it to bounce on. I don't want to put index cards on my burger, you know? I wanted it to stay, like, classy burger. That's where I got the, sh the shredded lettuce came in. I thought, like, maybe it's, like, light enough that sound will travel around it or through it, but it'll still, like, hold the bun up a little bit. Um, and you could like feel it vibrate, you know. And like the thing I wanted, <laughs> the thing I wanted was that should like be the picture everybody. In. <laughs> I really wanted like the top bun to be like bouncing around, like super like bassy and crazy. And uh, <laughs> but as it dries, it should become better and better. Yeah. Uh, in the bottom bun, I have a stack of neodymium magnets coming up, right, so like right, and this it's is... hollowed out inside there. Okay. And then I coiled magnetic wire around just a piece of paper that then fits over magnet. that. Yeah. And then that piece of paper I uh, hot glued to the end of a cup. <laughs> I just used this cup. I guess it's maybe cheating because it maybe works as part of the diaphragm, but I needed it to like hot glue wasn't really sticking to bread. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you're the first one to. Yeah, and it's really it's the, the for one, a hamburger. It's really well crafted, man. How many iterations of this? One burger, a hundred. Plates. <laughs> so.